In a diagram below, AF and DB intersect at C. AD and FBE are drawn such that angle D is 6.5, CBE is 115, DC is 7.2, AC is 9.6, and FC is 21.6. What is the length of CB? So I'm going to call the length of CB here X. And notice that in the description of this problem, the, um, the author didn't say that AD is parallel to FE. So because they're not parallel, we don't know whether or not triangle ACD is similar to triangle FCB. We don't know that. So we're going to have to find some way to justify for ourselves that these two triangles are similar. And if they are similar, then we can set a proportion to solve for X. More likely than not, they are going to end up being similar. But let's see here. So 115, I noticed that there's a linear pair over here. So 115, what's supplementary to that is going to be 65. So I can see immediately that this angle is 65 and this angle is 65. These are alternate interior angles. DCB is a straight line as uh, indicated in the description there. So because, uh, because these two angles are congruent and they are alternate interior angles, and I know that the these angles over there are congruent because of vertical angles, then therefore triangle ACD will be similar to triangle FCB. Okay, so because of this, then we can say, okay, in the large triangle, X corresponds with 7.2, and this proportion is going to hold with 21.6 in the large triangle to 9.6 in the small triangle. How do I know that? Well, again, uh, BC, which is this guy, right, corresponds with CD. So again, BC is X, CD is 7.2, right? And... The, this proportion is going to hold with CF, which is this guy right here, FC, uh, is to AC. So again, 21.6 to 9.6. So now I can set up. A, so now I can multiply both sides by 7.2. So 7.2 times 21.6 over 9.6. I'm going to multiply this using my calculator. 7.2. 21.6, 9.6, and I get 16.2. So x is equal to 16.2, and that would be option 3 then.